Hi and welcome to another Hair Arts video. Today is all about resist. I've got some uh, glossy paper here that I've pre-stamped with a Versamark. And then I've used my heat gun just to set the ink and let it dry. You can't really see the image, but you'll see it in a second. So I'm just getting some ink onto my applicator and I'm going to rub it just right onto the card. And I'm working on a craft sheet from Ranger. This is the light uh, shabby shutters ink. Now I'm going to get into a peeled paint, which is a little bit darker green. So same sort of swirly motions. Now you can see the image really start to pop out. The darker the ink, the better that your result with these. Now I'm just going to wipe the uh, image with a paper towel and it gets all the ink that's been sitting on top of the stamped image. There we have it. Okay, now I've pre-embossed um, some tags with my little pattern. I've used Versamark ink and some embossing powder. And I stamped onto my tag, sprinkled the powder on, got it off, and then I heat set it. I did a few so that we won't have to waste so much time with that. So now I'm going to do use a um, shadow ink, just like I would a distress ink. You can use either the applicator or a makeup sponge. So I'll go ahead and get the ink onto my applicator. This is um, Soft Blossom. So we're going to swirl in a pattern, just kind of go from the outside edge to the inside. The more ink you apply, the better the resist looks. I like to work with the embossing um, because it almost creates a relief. Like when it sits right next to the image, it's like a relief. So I, now I'm using a second color. This, I believe, is antique linen. You can really start to see the image come through now. And here we go. Okay, of course, I've pre-stamped my tags, embossed with the powder, and I've used Versamark. You get off the powder and you heat with your gun. Now, if you watched um, one of my earlier videos, right now I'm going to do a wrinkle-free, and this is where I'm just going to put the ink down onto the craft sheet. Oops. And I'm using fired brick tea dye and vintage photo. And I'm going to spritz with water until it balls up. And I'm going to go ahead and lay, I'm going to put my finger through so I don't have um, ink pad marks. I want, because these are really strong colors. So now I'm going to lay this on and give it a twist. And when I pull it up, it's very vibrant. Okay, I'm going to use my heat gun now. Even though it's been embossed, you can still use a heat gun. Just keep it a little bit further away so you don't run your embossing or your embossed image. And you want to dry it so that it doesn't soak into the paper so much. inky fingers. It looks like my fingers are bleeding, but it's just the ink. So again, I'll dab it into the ink, dry it with my heat gun. And there, there's no doubt you can see the image now. Oh, 
Now let's pick up the, get the edges. You can go ahead and peek at it and get more if you need to. Oh, and also I purchased my tags at one of my local um, office supply stores. It's just a little mom and pop store, and I like to work on the white white. I have a little thing right next to the tab there. Not quite. There we go. Nope. Getting the last remaining uh, puddles of ink dry. And there we have it. Now while I still have ink on my um, surface here, I can go ahead and re-wet it with my um, spritz of water and go ahead and do another tag. Now I just get a lighter version of the first one. While the ink's down there, you might as well use it up. And I suggest also that make several at a sitting. Actually, you probably will anyway. It's a very fun technique. Remember, you can uh, let the ink pool. It really pools nicely around the embossed image. I know it looks a little bright. I have the sun coming in very strongly into my kitchen window. I'm just about done with this one. I've almost used all the ink up. You wouldn't want to waste it. So now I'm going to make it a little bit wetter so it will move around a little bit more. I'll just clean this up and I'll show you the two. side by side. There we go. Okay, this is another fun thing that I like to do is to um, clear emboss on a pattern paper. Nothing too loud. Um, I just use my regular Versamark and clear embossing powder. You can't really see the image. Um, so now I'm using Broken China and I'm just going to smear this onto the paper and you can start to see the image that I've embossed. You can do this on um, text type papers. I've even done it on book text. It's one of my favorites. Now it's really starting to pop out. The more color you put down, the more it pops out. There we go. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope that you try Resist. And please visit Hero Arts at www.heroarts.com.